Hey everyone, I have a couple of little pieces of information for you guys today. The weekly update and some new pictures from the Character Customization GDC Lecture. I realize how poorly timed this video all is with it being April Fool's Day, but rest assured that this is not an April Fool's video, because I am not that clever. Let's start with the weekly update. The first part is just the usual Deej taunting us about how he's played Destiny so much and we haven't, and he talks about the new music being added to the game. Before the game didn't have any music, now they're adding it. We are about halfway through those eight weeks of waiting, implying that we haven't been waiting longer than eight weeks, but you guys know what I mean. So look for the month of May to start rolling in that information. In the mail sack we have the usual non-answers for most of the questions. One thing was sort of answered, and that was about a collector's edition, with an answer simply stating, ask us again next week. So this is either some sick April Fool's joke, or we're getting a collector's edition of Destiny, and I think the latter is pretty likely. A question on how guilds or clans will work was asked, and was not really answered the way that we wanted, a real shocker I know. Quote, if you plan to lead or join an exclusive team in Destiny, help yourself to a group right here on Bungie.net. End quote. Obviously, the question asker wanted to know about an in-game system. I'd take the provide you with the clubhouses you need comment with a grain of salt. A question on if there will be vendors in the tower was, I guess, answered in the form of a yes. Need deadlier weapons? Sturdier armor? Deeper secrets for how to channel the energies of creation as a force of destruction? There's a vendor for that, and more. But as expected, no details. A question about the podcast is answered in the form of, probably not this month, although they do mention wanting to talk about GDC. So if they wanted to keep those memories fresh in their head, there's definitely a chance of one soon. However, I hope that a podcast isn't going to be the only thing that reveals GDC information. Speaking of GDC, what a segue, more images were released, this time on the website InsideGames.jp. The article is in Japanese, but you can always Google Translate, and that's exactly what I did, although it's still in a bit of broken English. It does not go into too much different detail compared to the Polygon article, However, that's not the reason why this article is important, it is because of the new pictures. So we have these first three pictures showing the Hunter, the Warlock, the Titan, all in different armor sets. I don't think we've seen these armor sets before, and they do look pretty cool, they're just kind of showing off more of the customization possibilities. However, these next few are the more interesting ones. We'll start with the gear system concept image. You can really see the extreme variation in these Hunter helmets. I say they're hunter helmets because the article talks about hunters having gas mask-like helmets, so that's why I assume they're hunter helmets. And to really expand on the system concept, we'll move to this image just showing the sheer amount of parts that can go into a helm. These can be supposedly customized in any way you want with any color combos as seen on the right. They are really not messing around with the customization, and these are just the helms. Moving on to the next image just shows all the different pieces that go into your Guardian's armor set. If all of those individual pieces are customizable, that's over 30 different pieces. That isn't to say that we'll be able to equip 30 pieces of armor, it is still the head, chest, legs, arms combo that we've been seeing. So how all of that is going to work out is not exactly known yet. Finally, we have the dies and progression image which shows the hunter's cape getting longer and longer supposedly with progression. You can see the different colors and patterns available on the cloak as well. This is the kind of thing Bungie has really been talking about where they claim you'll be able to see how far people have progressed and where they've been by the style of their armor. I'm very interested to see how all of this customization is going to work out. After all, the gear that you will end up getting is going to have its own unique look. So it'll be interesting to see the balance of getting gear that already has a unique look compared to how much you'll be able to customize yourself. But that is all I have for you guys today. GDC on Twitter claimed last week that their 2014 vault will be updated with video presentations at the end of this week. So if the Bungie lectures are not blocked behind a paywall, I will be linking them on Twitter. So if you're too lazy or you're not gonna remember, Go follow me at Dado's Destiny for those possible links. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.